Senator Nathaniel Oates walked into a federal courthouse Friday. He's accused of using his position to help a businessman in return for cash, but that developer was actually working with the FBI, recording conversations. A 21-page criminal complaint alleges the informant told the senator he wanted to buy Baltimore properties for, quote, pennies on the dollar, implying he needed the senator's influence in the city. According to the complaint, in December of 2015, the informant recorded a phone conversation with the senator. The informant said, when I come in town, I'm looking to make some money now. I think I know the landscape a little bit. The senator responded, okay, plus there's something else. Once you get in town, I don't want to necessarily talk a whole lot of stuff on the phone. But when you get in town, there's another kind of thing I want to want to kind of talk to you about, see if you are interested in it. The complaint says the senator went on to say, a guy I know who helped me out on some things, he got some property and he want to develop it in the area you talking about. I want to take you by there and see if I can hook you all up. Federal prosecutors accused the senator of taking more than 15000 in cash from the informant. In return, the senator is alleged to have written two letters supporting the businessman and pushing through a $250,000 bond bill to benefit the developer. Friday, the senator had no comment after the judge notified him of the allegations, but his attorneys denied all the charges. I have no comment. I have no comment. Former state delegate Jill Carter was there to support. I sat next to Senator Oaks for 14 years. And, um, you know, this was um, something that I just wanted to be present for and show some kind of support.